of second corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 and all things are of god who had reconciled us to himself by jesus christ and had given to us the ministry of reconciliation next verse that to wit that god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation so christ reconciled us god was in christ reconciling reconciling he was the one reconciling us to himself romans chapter 5 verse 10 for if when we were enemies we were reconciled to god by the death of his son much more we be reconciled we shall be saved by his life being reconciled we shall be saved by his life verse 11 and not only so but we also joy in god through our lord jesus christ by whom we have now received the atonement actually the original text there is not atonement is the reconciliation the word reconciliation is the greek word katalaso k-a-t-a-l-l-a-s-o it means no more space or gap that is to say by the reconciliation of christ man and god don't have a gap anymore there is no more space existing between man and god because god was in christ reconciling the world bringing the world to himself so that a gap does not exist anymore between god and man can somebody shout hallelujah what does that mean romans chapter 5 verse 1 therefore being justified by faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ so since we are reconciled to god the effect of that reconciliation is peace that is to say there's no more enmity between us and god jesus has breached the gap between us and god a reconciliation has taken place by the death of christ so we and god there's no more space no more gap no more enmity there's reconciliation there is peace he has brought the father and us together we and the father are together with each other there is no more space or gap anymore between us and the father are you are you hearing what i'm saying god is not going to ask man anymore where are thou adam where are thou that question has been solved by the death of christ so god and man have reconciled there is peace between god and man even david said it he said where can i hide from your presence david had an understanding of the substitutionary sacrifice of christ you know but somebody begins to sing i just want to be where you are i want to be where you are adam should be singing that song I want to be where you are, dwelling in your presence. You want to be the death of Christ granted you permanent residence in his presence. So you no more sing, I want to be. Now you are there. It's only Adam that want to be. Because Adam, where are thou? The new creation man is in Christ. And you cannot separate Christ from his presence. So Adam should be singing, I just want to be where you are. And that's Adam. We, we are where he is. In him we live and move and have our being. So we don't want to be where he is. We are where he is. I'm teaching here. We are seated together. No more distance no more space jesus has bridged the space amen he said i will never leave you nor forsake you god said i will never leave you nor forsake you so in reconciliation we are reconciled to god by the death of christ first john three sixteen hereby perceive we the love of god because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren he laid down his life for us the word reconciliation deals with enmity it deals with distance and it deals with estrangement in a relationship but jesus has reconciled us so therefore because jesus has reconciled us we and god are at peace